Good morning. It's Friday, so that means it's another episode of Stage Door, a theater podcast hosted by a couple of average guys. We welcome back Shauna with the Waterville Play Shop, but she didn't just come by herself today. Today, she brought a couple of the stars of the upcoming production of Frozen Junior, Brecca and Braylon, who at the ripe old age of 11 or 9 already have a better vocabulary than me. I told Kyle, I said, well, I picked very t- two very mature ladies, so. Uh, they might be too mature, well actually. They're over there right. just being way too good, way too nice. I don't know what's going on here. Have you guys ever done a podcast before? No. 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 To figure out how it is. This is fun. So, I mean, I had Sean on here, oh boy, a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Yeah. So we started this, and you were probably like the third episode we did. So it's great to have you back again, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I'm and, excited. Yeah, and then you, you didn't just come by yourself. You brought a couple of the princesses along yeah. with us as well. And who we who do we have here? Go ahead. Who, who Your name, please. Let's talk all over each other, just so you know it's all cool. It's fine. Well, my name is Brandon Wasalik. Brandon? No, what? Braylon Wasalik. Braylon. There we go. See, I have old man ears. I can't hear everything. And who do you play in the show? Young Anna and Middle Anna. Young Anna and Middle Anna. And you are? My name is Brecken with Salik, and I am Young Elsa and Middle Elsa. Wait, you guys are actual sisters, plain sisters in the show? Yeah. yeah. Was that planned, Shauna? Because uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's a wonderful coincidence. <laughs> a wonderful coincidence? A wonderful coincidence. So they just both came in and were just both awesome, so it was easy. Yes. There you go. And why did you pick this show, though? I mean, there's a lot of shows out there. Why this one this time? Uh, So, to be fair... Man, I hope I hit record. No, just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) We'll start all over again. So, to be fair, we actually had picked this in 2019. Oh, wow. Um, Late 2018, early 2019, when we start picking our shows for the 1920 year. So, we had picked this... When? What was the year? 2018? End of 2018, beginning of 2019 is when we pick our season for the next year. like three years ago almost. Yeah. So it was supposed to happen in June of 2020, and obviously nothing happened in June of 2020. So it just kept getting pushed back, and now here we are. (laughs) Okay. So three years ago, that would put you at how old then? Um... Six. 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 Six years old. So six years ago, you probably weren't thinking, when you were six years old, probably not thinking about being in the show then. No, I was still thinking of being in the show. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you've been doing this for a while then. I guess you could say that. Yeah. yeah. How long do you yeah. think you've been doing theater then? Is this your seventh show? Is this your 27th show? Is it your second show? Well, in theater, um, we actually did Waterville Play Shop's Mary Poppins. So we oh, did that. which was also done by you. It was. Yeah. See, I, I pay attention <laughs> to what's going on in the world. Yeah, I was probably in like three theater shows, but with um, multiple other dance shows and. Yeah. Oh yeah, dance probably. shows too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's that. So yeah. you've been in three theater shows since mm-hmm. this time, or total? Since the um, which would be, in total, I have done four, but this would nice. be like. What were those? Four. I want to hear what those were shows. Um, were. I was actually Little Elsa and Anthony Wayne. No Jr. way. Yeah, it was really <laughs> in 2019. Um, I was Young Elsa, and then I was um. And this year I was in, well, which was 2021, Christmas, the Christmas. Oh. I was in um, the 1940s Christmas Homecoming. I was um, Nita, the um, daughter of the main character, I guess you okay. would say. Um, and then I was in Mary Poppins, like the chorus. Awesome. But you you were in Anthony Wayne's version of the yeah. show. Anthony yeah. Wayne High School. Uh-huh. Nice. So that's why this, um, doing this, I actually feel like more prepared for this. And oh, now yeah. I can like, because when I was first learning it in 2019, it was kind of like I had to put like a lot of effort into just knowing the show. Oh. And then now this time I feel like I can actually like be the character the best I can be because I like know everything. Already. Holy crap, Shawna, you brought a ringer. I told she you. She is totally amazing. You're right. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> you did bring somebody who's like, this time I'm going to actually do it great. First time. I love it. I love that. And, and your, show, your shows, what shows are you in? Do you remember them all? I actually only did three because no. I wasn't in the um, when she was. Um, well, you got a couple um, years under her. You'll catch up, yeah. right? Yeah. But I was watching the play, so, uh, and so I knew a lot of it, too. But yeah. I didn't perform in it. Yeah. But I also did Mary Poppins with mm-hmm. them and um, her, and I was chorus. Yeah. And now, yeah. yeah, chorus is great. You got yeah. you guys get the bond off to the side and do all the fun stuff with everybody yeah. while the loser leads are up in the front doing all their. No, no, not loser leads. <laughs> it's all good. It's all very important. 
That's the whole point. You guys get to do all this stuff. Very impressive resumes when you yeah. consider with the pandemic that shut oh, everything good point. down for a few years. Oh my gosh, you're right. So to have that. that much at this age and have everything shut down is pretty impressive. Uh, I mean, yeah. You have three more shows than me. I can tell you <laughs> that right now. So you're already beating my pants off. So you're good to go. Oh, uh, so you said you're going to sit there and focus now on doing and being the best Elsa you can be. So who, speaking of that, how many rehearsals have you guys had? Um, you know, we're halfway done blocking, choreographing the show. Oh. I think that in a span of about two weeks, we got through half the show. So Two weeks? Yeah. You've only been rehearsing for two weeks? Yeah, well, we've taken some time off. Um, oh. This last week-ish, we had some time off because... The director like took a vacation and stuff, but um, yeah. For the director, two, yeah, you mean you? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, we we started strong and got through about half the show. Oh, nice. And then I we took off for a week and we're ready to hit hit it back hard tomorrow. So yeah, for in in about it took us about two weeks to get to uh, block and choreograph the first half. So yeah, but two weeks that's not every day for two weeks. You must run no, a tight ship no, when about you're three rehearsals. or four a week. Yeah, three or four rehearsals a week. Yeah, that's a tight ship though. It to is get, a tight ship to get the entire blocking and everything yes. all done with yes. all that kind of stuff. Yes, yeah. Anybody who comes to my rehearsals knows it is a tight ship. Is it not? I mean, it's a tight yeah. ship. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you work. Doing it's it. two hour long rehearsals, but we're working for those two hours. Mm-hmm. It's two hours. You yeah. guys are spending eight hours a week with with Shauna. I know. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> I didn't say it exactly like that, but you said it. So <laughs> I can say it. <laughs> That's a long. So this is exciting. You know, obviously, you got all your friends doing it with you too, or just yeah. a few. Um, I'd say we have no, we have met some people from theater and some from like awesome. dance, but um, yeah, I'm like excited to um, because it's only like my um, second play with Waterville Play Shop, so I've only I only know a couple people, but um, it would be great to start making new friends as we keep working. Wow! Out. So this you guys obviously live in the Waterville White House area because you said yeah. you went to the Anthony Wayne show, and they don't let just any old person go be a part of the Anthony Wayne show. you got to actually be in the school district. Yeah. So who is killing it in the show right now? You've had two weeks, so I want to talk about people in the show and how great they're doing. Who is absolutely doing an amazing job in the show? I feel like um, some of the um, dancers are, like, really starting to, nice. um, like, understanding the choreography, and I'm really happy with how cool, like, it's, like, looking if you watch it and how... Um, it's like most plays, sometimes it's just more like standing and just like moving in different lines. But this one, this choreography and how um, some of the really good people are doing it, it like looks cool. It looks like what you would actually do at a summer festival. Nice. For like, it actually looks and fits where, what you're acting instead of just a dance. Do you know who the choreographer is for the show? It's me. Oh, it's also me. It's also me. <laughs> it's also yeah. you. Wow, yeah. you are doing it all. Yeah. So when you took the week off for vacation, that was it. It was I, a problem. I still have emails to respond to. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago is this vacation? I flew in last night. Oh wow! You yeah. wow! And we snagged you. That yeah. that's that's cool. That's yeah. very cool. So the choreography is what we all need to come and see. All the cool dancing and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know who's playing um, the the main people? Who's playing the um, the adult versions of yourselves? You know what their names are? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm. Pretty well, I know. Um, Emma Kate is Anna, she's um, one of our friends. Oh, okay, um, Emma Kate Holbrook. Oh, yeah. Emma Kate Holbrook, and how old is Emma Kate Holbrook? She's 16, oh, and, she's, um, yeah, in high school. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. And then who's playing Elsa? Do we know who that person is? No, it's Brooke. I don't remember, like, Sit down. Sit down. okay, Brooke. Who I'm sorry, Brooke Sedan. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I know. Does she go to Notre Dame? I or am I totally know. just pulling that out of nowhere? And I I'm do not know that else. question. You have long brown hair? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How old is Brooke? High school. Yes. But so I think maybe young. I am speaking to yeah. the same person. Does she well have long brown hair? Yes. 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 I'm almost positive that yes. I do know who she is, and, and I'm not surprised that she is uh, playing who she plays because she's very talented, mm-hmm. as I'm sure everybody in the show mm-hmm. is. Very so, talented cast. Yeah. Incredible cast. W- when is the show? Is It's coming up here soon, like in a couple weeks? It is June 24th through the 26th. June 24th, 26th? Mm-hmm. Yep, at the Mommy Indoor. Oh, have you guys been on... So you did Waterville shows. Is that mm-hmm. uh, the same place? It was at Mommy Indoor yeah. there, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, and the costumes in this show? Costumes mm-hmm. killer? 
Uh, yeah, they're fantastic. <laughs> they haven't seen them yet, so they're like, uh, well, they I don't know. Have, they're they're we doing act- their own costumes. Oh, what? Yes, for the most part. We're, for the most part, everyone's doing their own costumes. Yeah, literally, like the um, when we first found out that um, we could do our own costumes, we like bought all the ones we thought could possibly work, and we're like limiting them out and figuring it out. All the what? Could, what do you mean? Like all the options? all the costumes? Yeah. Oh, costumes. like what? How did that work? Like like. You say you bought them or brought them? I, I we um, bought them. Oh, so like you went to the Disney store or something? Um, or? No, so we um, wanted to do like a costume that was unique because a lot of times costumes are like what the Anna and Elsa would wear. Oh. So we wanted to make it a little bit more unique so that way there's not a lot of people that are going to wear the same exact costume oh. for the show. I like this idea. And this, was, this, was this the director's idea? <laughs> you can't. I she can't nods. take full credit, but yeah, she I nods. gave some parameters. Nodding on podcasts is terrible. I, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. Well, Wait, to no. be fair, you just asked them if they went to the Disney store, which yeah. ages you because there is no Disney store oh, anymore. Well, I'm definitely aged. I got gray in my beard, so it's not <laughs> even. There's, of course, I'm aged. Yes, it's, it's yes. Like, there's no, there's Disney no Disney store, store at the mall no, anymore. No. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're, you're really aging your kids, to be honest. Have you I mean, been to the Disney store? Yeah. Did or did it leave? When did it leave? I should ask that question. Did it leave ten years ago? And I'm that dumb. I don't, think um, it's that long. I don't know. I don't ever remember there being like a Disney store, oh. but I remember there is like a Disney store in Chicago that we used to go to whenever we lived. Oh man, the Disney store in the back in the Franklin Park Mall used to have a big pile of the toys. I always wanted to just run and jump on them. Like just run and jump, but then I saw one time that there were those shelves, and I would have busted my mouth open. I'm sure because I was like, oh, oh wait, that was a close one. I almost actually, when I was you know younger and dumber, thought about doing that, and and then I luckily didn't. And then I luckily saw that there were shelving units that these things were all stacked on. It was not just a big pile of stuffed animals. It was stuffed animals on a shelving thing that I would smash my face. That's on. why women live longer. <laughs> A thousand percent That's true. Why. Because why was that in my head? Who right. knows? I'm like, it's what? a pile of things I can jump in. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. So okay, so we got Elsa, we got Anna, we have the 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 you play do you play the middle aged one also? Do you play the yeah. young one and the middle? And you play mm-hmm. the young one in the middle? Yep. Wow. How do they manage to do that? How do you disappear and come back and then you're Well different? yeah, so uh, the t- costume changes are really tight, so which is another thing with those costumes. <laughs> um that like we literally have to run on stage and just like put a shawl on top of a regular dress and then sprint back out to knock on the door and come back again. <laughs> so um, it's it's a tight like call. Yeah, you have to pretty customers. much change in the wings and not all yeah. the way go back. Yeah, yeah, because it's like I can't even. I don't even have time to take mm-hmm. five more steps. It's that tight, probably. Yeah, huh? just in the wings. And then who's playing Olaf? Do we know who's playing Olaf in this show? Um, I'm thinking her. I'm guessing her name is Delilah, right? Yeah, Delilah Torio. Delilah Torio, yeah. and and she's killing it. I assume she is. She made her theater debut with Matilda this fall. Oh, and she is extremely animated. Oh. And yes, I have a girl playing Olaf, and it's fantastic. Who cares? Why does that it's matter? Fantastic. Yes, what, she's incredible. She's so funny. Yeah. She is so funny. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't matter. It's a snowman, yeah. but who cares? Yeah. Snow Woe Man this yeah. time, right? Yeah. So I want to hear. Yeah. I want to hear more, though. I want to hear more about everybody in the show. I don't want everybody to listen to the podcast and feel like, oh, they totally forgot about me. I'm no, just a I mean, bad guy. The entire guy. cast is so, is they're just over the top, unbelievable. You cannot believe that they're, they're kids because their maturity level on stage. And um, I mean, the way that they're developing their characters. Um, and I'll just use these two as an example. Because you they're should, because they're doing it. I mean, yeah. they're doing amazing. You said oh, the, absolutely. the characters of the maturity. Absolutely. And so to watch them on stage, and even though they're sisters and, they, and they're and they practicing together at oh. home, they come out on the stage and they're two completely different characters. And they're both embracing what Anna and Elsa is. Um, and, you know, we're working with the, the older Anna and Elsa as well. And they're doing the same thing where there's such a difference between um, Anna and Elsa. So even though they're sisters and so each character is really learning to develop um, what they're bringing to the table and those little nuances. So um, and part of that is with the choreography, you know, there's certain things that I have young Anna and young and older Anna do that are the same. Right. And so there's oh, a lot of cute. that. Like, like yeah, that. just to, so that you really as when you come to see it, you're going to see this character development in all of the characters. 
Uh oh, my dogs are barking. See, this is the guy I have guard so, dogs. They're so yeah. excited. Uh, they're so excited, they're excited about. Excited to see the show. Yeah, <laughs> about all of these guys' characters. I see. You know, um, what about the music in the show? Is it a lot different than the movie itself, or is there some different stuff in there? I hope there there are some different things. I mean, the opening number is not a song that's in oh. the movie version. Well, there you go. So right yeah, away, right away. Now you're still going to hear all of those songs that you know and love. Yeah, all the fans. Um, you know, the parents are all cringing when I say there is Let It Go. What? Um, of but course, there I will better be. Say, I know. <laughs> I will say that all the songs that you know and love are in there. In Summer, um, First Time in Forever, Let It Go. But they've put them in a range for kids. So you oh, don't yeah. have to worry about coming to see the show and just wondering if these kids are going to be able to hit those notes. Yeah. So they're not, so they, it's like, oh my gosh, are they going to hit the Menzel part? Yes. And it's like, right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to be fair, Brooke could hit those notes. But, oh. <laughs> but um, it's all written for kids. It's trans. If you know anything about the junior versions, they're transposed. I don't. They are transposed so that it is workable for kids. What do you mean transposed? What's that mean? So um, they're, they're changing um, the, the notes so that they're they're in the range that kids can mm-hmm. hit. So that's what it means. That's what transposing means. I don't know. Really. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just yeah. They just Moving move the notes out. and realize that they don't yes. have fully mature vocal Correct. cords yet. So yep. let's not let's not wreck their throats trying to do this yes. when they're eleven years old. Right. Or listen yeah. to the you know, in a chorus of kids who physically can't do it yet because right. they're their vocal range right. isn't It's there. gonna sound like the Vienna Boys Choir, not the yes. not the yeah. You know, under the yeah. sea, deep man voice. You know, no, Correct. it's not going to be any of that. No. <laughs> I no. picked the other show because I couldn't remember what the song right. started off in the in Frozen. It was some sort of ice That's cutting okay. thing. That's all I remember. I just didn't yes. remember the actual song. What is the opening song to the show? It's like, um, I'm, I think it's like something like, I don't, I don't ever, like, I never ever thought of what the song was called, but it's like something like they're like, Cutting ice and like talking about like how hard it is to yeah, but that's it. not our opening number. That is the movie's yes. opening number. Yeah, so our opening number is Love the sunshine. Um, it's yeah. mostly not even in English. Oh um, sweetness! Yeah, they. It's more of a summer festival. Oh, is it? So you start right away at the castle, um, in the town, um, just really being uh, immersed into what is happening. Yeah. And, you know, in, in the... Jump right okay. into it, basically. Jump though. right into it. Because um, it's not a three-hour show. It is an hour and ten minutes. Oh. One act? One act. One act. Everybody sits down, watches the whole thing, and yes. it's done? Yes, it's perfect to bring kids to. Yeah. Um, because it's an hour and ten minutes. You're not going to keep them there till 11 o'clock at night. It's perfect. I love it. Oh. Love the, the, it's perfect for the the cast. It's appropriate. Yeah. And it's appropriate to bring kids. You can bring little kids. The mommy indoor is so wonderful and roomy that if you're if you bring a child who starts kind of acting up or needs to get the wiggles out, yeah. you just step to the back and let them get their wiggles out. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Walk around for a little bit yeah. and then come back and sit back down yeah. again. Everything from top to bottom is designed for all age audience members. I, I really hope that when you are performing this that your teachers come to the show and that all of your all I hope all your classmates come to the show and just see you guys and are like, oh my gosh, this is I have to do this too. So that's that's my hope for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh heck no. No 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 no. Thank you for coming in. I am sure that uh, everybody wants to go see these two princesses even more. So make sure you go out and you go buy those tickets for Waterfield Play Shops Frozen Junior, which starts the weekend of June 24th, and it's going to be in the Mommy Indoor Theaters. But make sure, until then, you come back, you listen to more episodes of us, and you give us a five-star review so we can keep getting up the ladder, okay? See you next week.